Actually, Fedora should be a teaser image. Okay, let's let's take a look at the Fedora. The Circus of Verona. Okay. So, oh yeah, this looks like uh, we will need to build a hippodrome. Okay. Looks like we have an open trader over there. There are some traders. On the terrain is fair like it. Okay. Okay, I don't think we will have voice instructions. I'll have to read everything. We start at 6000 denari. It's 60 AD. What do you think? Well, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> Population 6000, uh, culture 0, prosperity 85, peace 0, a favor 60. Governor, I have exciting assignment for you today. You shall help me win a bet. Some stubborn backward senators refuse to accept my notion that a modern city does not need the basic entertainment structures in order to thrive. I am sending you to a peaceful region in northwest Italia to build the, the colony of Verona. Building a flourishing city there should not prove to be a challenge for you. The winding river contains plenty of fish and there are many natural resources as well. The available farmland is however spread out on uneven ground. Therefore I recommend that you plan the food logistics carefully. Despite the favorable area, few locations by the river can support bridges. Roman engineers have already built a bridge for you so that the river can be crossed when you arrive. Fund it with your starting city funds, of course. Their expertise is now needed elsewhere, however, but if your city becomes prosperous enough, I will lend them to you once more. Now let us go over the interesting part with the future colonial of Verona. Then the groundworks for large circles have been prepared that you are going to build. Once this colossal monument has been constructed, you will be able to establish a trade there with Rome, where you can buy wine for plebeians who will want to quench their thirst while celebrating the games. Fill the streets of Verona with charioteers who will entertain the populace on their way to the Hippodrome. Good luck, Governor. Hints. Some mining locations are marked. Trade prices are slightly tweaked. If your favor is lower than 16, Caesar will send ultimatum requests to you. Uh, Emona is selling zero one and is intended as a rock around for a bug. Okay. Milestones. Uh, these are checked every month. Uh, reach 1500 uh, population and 16 prosperity to unlock trade with Ponce Dirce. Reach 3500 population and 40 prosperity to unlock trade with Nikea. Achieve 60 prosperity to unlock trade with Rome and bridge building. Okay, let's take a look at it. It's not a huge map. Our goal is 6000 population, 85 prosperity, so that's not gonna be a huge issue. Uh, Yes, this this is what I suspected it's gonna be a problem. We don't have vine for our tavern, I don't think. So tavern is gonna be pretty shit. If you want any entertainment, you need a hippodrome. Um, let's take a look at raw materials: clay, marble, timber. Okay, everything you need to build a hippodrome. It's just gonna require a lot. Ignore the quest and I remove that one. Okay. Let's take a look at the empire map. We are here in Verona. Uh, I think this is accurate. But Verona is a modern Italian name, well, I guess. Maybe even medieval Italian name, but I don't think Romans called it that. Did it? Did they? I think Mediolanum is like here, yeah. I don't know what they called Verona, or if it was a city actually. They might have. I don't really know. I guess you did research, so you should probably know. And we are open with Amona for zero wine, right? We've only got Melorilanum, which would buy fish, clay, and timber. That's fine. 500 denarii. Okay, right. Yeah. No problem. We have a uh, flushed out empire. Interesting. <clears throat> Empire border 60 AD. I think this is good. I'm not sure about this part. It might be. Okay, 6000. Um, there's a bridge, it's a stone bridge. Exit point, entry point right here. 
Mm, again, map is not that large. I don't think there is military activity. There is palisades and walls. It might be a mistake, maybe. Are there natives? There are most likely no natives. No. It's the only Soda Tavern is available. Okay, right. Mistake, no military yet. Okay. Um, we'll build something. Uh, again, all the entertainment will have to come from this hippodrome, uh, which is gonna suck. But we'll find a way. I think. So without, I think tavern without wine will not give me any entertainment, right? So we we really cannot even have like small casa or anything. Um, that sucks. Hmm. Okay, where's food? Here, um, food logistics, as mentioned, will be a little bit tough. Pigs and dwarfs for fish. Um, do we need sea trade? I don't think we should be using any sea trade for anything, right? We are like, yeah, we just have whatever. Um, okay. So I was thinking, starting with fish and then a regular block. If you use line blocks, it's gonna be much simpler to provide um, coverage. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why <laughs> you would be excited about that, but it's a thing. <laughs> That's possible. I'll have to go line blocks because um, I need coverage to work properly, which will only work properly if you do line blocks. Otherwise, with loops, you are having an asset before a disaster when relying on destination walkers. Which also means I'll have to connect my city. Play this with regular blocks. Um, but it sucks. <laughs> I, I, it's, I already imagine it's gonna cause me humongous pain. I don't want to. I'd rather just go line blocks. It's not good, but um, at least I'm gonna get coverage for everyone. Uh, I don't want to. I don't like to make line blocks, but uh, if you get if you make me use destination walkers, what do you think I'm gonna do? <laughs> parks? I don't know. Um, yes, there are parks. There is plaza. There are statues. I need to disable the redemptions. Uh, I think I didn't last time. Points. So this is gonna take a minute. Should be done. <laughs> this is a custom map. I am not having redemptions, but I'll build it. This one thing that happened before anything else, but this is a custom map. I'm not gonna do anything out of the ordinary but a custom maps. I'm I don't trust anything, so you know, anything extra would um, would not be good. Um, but. Since you redeemed it before I managed to scrap it, I'll have to I'll have to do that. It's fine. But I did tell you before. I'm not gonna do this on custom maps. That would be absolutely insane. Like batshit insane asylum sort of situation. <laughs> okay. Um Fine, let's, yeah, we'll have to feed them, but don't worry for now. Let's, we'll make a granary here. Again, this is gonna suck for, yeah, like, connecting the city is horrible. It will mean that people, the market ladies will go crazy and just go and fetch stuff I don't want from places I don't want them fetch for, to fetch from. But, um, unfortunately, that's just how it is, and I cannot do anything about it. So, because you rely on destination walkers, therefore you need the city to be interconnected. 
solar that I can see. Fairbite told me, um, you will most likely hate it because it tries something different. And can I say, you are not wrong. <laughs> this is very not good. But I, I can probably deal with it. It's just I'm gonna have to approach it differently than you had in mind because I'm not dealing with partial coverage on blocks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not horrible. I've, I've played worse, much worse. Just, you know, as a concept, this is gonna be um, forcing some unfortunate things on my city. Okay, so, uh, temple dump. Where do we build that? Also, I haven't uh, thought about, uh, yeah, this is mining location, I think. I haven't thought about where to put my temple dump or trade, really. With trade, um, preferably somewhere we can mine a lot. Here, I think these are fake rocks, right? Yeah, fake rocks. We can do clay and timber to sell to Medellin and fish. So that would be fine to have here, I think. And there are dock locations here, actually. Maybe that is gonna be a sea trade. Oh, this kinda sucks. Right, and we don't have bridge building yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, fine. I, again, I don't know where to build my jump. I think here. Yeah, since like... Mm, we'll have some issues. I think we want to Venus Temple, most likely. Just because if we can build it, this would help us have entertainment. We can build it. Okay, that's the start. Uh, let's check our cellar. Five, let's drop it to two. And what did he can want? I didn't turn it off, so I'm gonna use it to build a pond. Okay, fine. I didn't, no. Thanks. <clears throat> Let's put this here. Prefect. And I think it's also enclosed, most likely. This thing. It's gonna require a lot. <laughs> I need to give them a bald house. Okay, still no unemployment. We'll have some soon. That's working. Start going with this. So how do I want my warehouse? <clears throat> I think I want it here. And this is actually. Yeah, I might have to. I might have. I might have to move it. This is good fishing spot. Might have to build something else here later. Where are the fishing spots? Kind of far away. So I'm gonna have to build a shipyard here. Do some warps. Clay pit. Two. Three. Could do some timber as well. For now, this is gonna be enough. Let's put it like that. Go 
cut this off. Infect. Accept fish 8. Accept clay 8. Actually, 16. Yeah, 16. It's gonna be a lot of jobs we don't have labor for. Yeah. It's gonna get fixed. Eventually. Mm, this right here is a bit of a problem. I'll need some space, I guess, but uh, it's still worth it to water even in one house. It's just not very good, but fine. Let's have it. We do have plaza. Let's build a bit of it. Still need some people. That's going. Okay, let's open up trade with Mediolanum. Sell clay, sell fish, sell timber. And we need some food for a block. Start with fish. It's not gonna be enough, we'll need more. I could bring some pigs, I guess, from here. It's just gonna be... Yeah, it will require a depot and some investment to clear. If we have more food or more labor, I will do it. For now, we're just kind of struggling on that. Let's accept, feed people and give them... A, I don't have a theater, let's give them... I think they want entertainment before they want. Um, Education. So it's gonna suck. I could try to give them a tavern, but I think tavern without vine is probably not gonna give them anything. Let's see. Okay, I think we'll be making money soon at this. The food of it all is gonna be pretty awful. <clears throat> we'll need divine, right? That's a problem. And I think they want entertainment before they want education, so it's small hovels before you can really do anything else. It's fine. Okay, so this. I need some marble. Let's take a look how do you get up here. They can deposit it quite far it's just this might be a good location for block as well but uh, screw it just go here with a warehouse accept 16 marble 8 clay and 8 timber no like no traders raw materials timber yard and a clay pet just we only need to start really small Eventually we might expand the monument builders. For now it's gonna be very very simple. Hmm. Let them do that. 
or do we? No, I think we will put a roadblock here. We cannot tax people with this economy, but that should be fine. Uh, also, don't sell them fish from this granary, that's pretty bad. And I might have to use this fish. It's not great, but any food here is good, so I don't have to get the pigs. That would be even more labor intensive. I believe. It's pretty close to a fishing point, right? Yeah. Not hopefully far away. Mm, these squiggles. It's gonna be horrible for walkers. They can still make it. Except no traders and a depot. Fish from the last one to the first one. No, the second granite, first warehouse would not work. I can't help myself but to try new things like this. <laughs> Let us idea go. I already actually um I can show you a map on Haven. Like <laughs> without um knowing you actually made something that's already been made. As I that's my opinion on maps, like whatever you come up with, someone already made it. This of course without Augustus and the event system, but this has already been made in a way. Um how was it called? No, it's not Judea Trouble, it's called something else. The, the races. This, and also it is reminding me of a map by Alasito where you, do, you have to build Neptune Grand Temple to get anything above Small hobbles. It's basically like if I have bells only, just with entertainment, you know. In this this nerf. Not only get cra crazy ideas. No, people have basically tried everything that there is already. But yeah, like you know, it's cool. Like I also tried to do a whole bunch of different things. For me, this is not what I like, but it's fine. I have to go line blocks. So I'm, ne I'm not dealing with destination walkers with loops. That's just a recipe for disaster. You would have to have two uh, hippodrome uh, ch charioteers in a single block, basically. And you would still need to connect everything anyway. Which is also something I just hate doing. Because I can guarantee you the market ladies will go crazy. Yeah. But I just, I don't want that in my life. It's probably... Not a good idea to not go with it, but I cannot help myself. I could still fit more here, but how would I even fit? No, I don't want to deal with that. I really don't. More food, more immigrants. This is gonna be very slow. We don't have a time limit though. That's all that matters. We should be making profit of what? <clears throat> Cannot make a clay pit. Can we make a timber yard? No. Should have kept a tree here if there was a tree. That's fine. Let's get some timber over here.
food will get better eventually. For now it's pretty crap, but I think it's gonna improve. Uh, I don't really think we'll need um, docks. At least for now it looks like we won't. We'll see if eventually the map will demand it. Clear a path. Mm, I don't want to, want to make a new granary, but I think we have to. To keep efficiency going. Maybe I should add a note about the new trade route each city will be. Um, yeah, I mean, for now I just don't know. So if you if you want to give a player that sort of information, you might do that with uh, just implementing it into the instructions um, with the with the events. Just like if you wish to trade over the river, for example, just that needs to be there. Otherwise, I just have no idea. Nice sea ice land, right. So we'll have a sea trader, but that's fine. I still have a dock, but where's the flotsam? If there is flotsam, generally, I would think. Yeah, there is flotsam, and it comes from here. Ugh, okay, fine. We can have a dock somewhere. This is too short, I think, right? Yeah, too short. I think you only want players to trade here, which is awful. Uh, because then the ships will go all the way here, but that's fine. This is still not that long. We'll have it there. Get more food. And timber. Store it. Oh yeah, this doesn't accept timber yet. Go ahead. Send him the things. Paper is high enough. Just don't go into that. We didn't take the bailout yet, but there is very little point rushing anything. I just cannot give them entertainment anyway. Let's make another block soon. Uh, maybe wait a little bit. That is time. It is, it is. Just, I only have one timber yard. Okay, let's make let's make a mausoleum, architect skill, and work camp. I know, yeah, that's just a little bit of money. <clears throat> it will help to keep the guards at bay. Smelly Hamlet, freaking fishing village. Can't really do much with that, no? Considering. 700 denarii. Yeah, I think we need to maximize more. I don't have labor for it though. We need a new block and then expand the industry. They're making some money, I guess. It's not all bad. Uh, let's go into that a little bit. I can still do this as I want it, I just, it's gonna be line blocks, not, not what I would like. Um, okay, let's take a look. Is this rock in the way? I will connect this to a new area. Like this. Oh yeah, and the water is gonna cause some issues for me. I can put this like here, instead of here. And it's a full through stat as well. I... <laughs> Fine. 
Fine. Mm. This doesn't actually add up. Let's fix it. Some of these will have problems getting water too soon. I'll have to do this for now. Later on we'll fix it. Prefect here. Doctor and a barber. I'll need a bathhouse as well. Which I'll put there. Let's put down another temple here. They've built the mausoleum, that's good. Um, I want to connect my hippodrome up now. Where is the middle pile of this thing? Where is it? Should be like this tile, but it's not connecting. Well, we have that, that's fine. Connects on the long sides. Does it not? I'm pretty sure I did have that before, but maybe not. No, I'm just wasting more money. It should work, yeah. It, yeah, maybe graphical jank. Maybe. I can actually put some of these here. This is a big investment, but I kind of need this. <clears throat> can probably make the money back if we get some more clay. Maybe a bit more timber as well. Population milestone. Clay, you can send him clay now. Is there are these people? Yeah, they are doing it, I think. Yeah, good. Let them build it. Okay, let's cut back on the fountains. I just need to water people as I want, not, not like this. Yeah, if <laughs> okay. Forget we saw that. This is still okay. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it just works out perfectly. That's what I like about the tactical rocks or cliffs and uh, this um, particular case. Keep building the massive thing. And we'll need some. We need some plaza. Let's give them some plaza and a market. Plus, I'll go ahead and do more industry. We can still sell more timber, I think. The question is how we want to do that. The answer is somewhat like this. We also want more clay here. Is this fine? The game says yes. Do we trust the game? No, we do not. Never ever trust the video game. Uh, this is fine. Okay, should be looking good. 
Uh, I think you can tax large hobbles. Small hobbles, rather. Maybe it's large hobbles? I don't remember. I think it might be the next evolution stage that tax level in on very hard. Or if you're not playing on very hard, you can tax this without any issues. I cannot. New house, new house here as well. Which is gonna be a pain. Let's alter it properly. This is gonna be a lot of labor. Just if we don't have enough marble. I could go and mine this. If we had the money, we do have the money. This is a lot, actually. Definitely worth doing this shit tons of marble already. Okay, we need to make a road here so that we can fit some farms, preferably, but this is already cursed, so I'm just gonna hug the side. Can put a farm here later. Connect this up. Uh, I don't like that, but fine. Um, connect this as well. Put a road block here, and here, and here. It can be nice sometimes. Yeah, it's a lot of marble. But <laughs> I don't say you are not nice. Just uh, sometimes this works out. I doubt you planned it as. Um, Interfering with my specific fountain placement. I just know that sometimes when you do place stuff like this It just happens to end up screwing someone in particular, you know um, You might not exactly know um, Absolutely everything that it's gonna tamper with but usually it just doesn't disappoint and does something to someone So what you want Okay, so it's August Let's wait for the end of the year so I can check my quota. Still have a lot of unemployment, but they are not getting taxed, so they are kind of get kind of fine with it, I guess. We'll be able to build this rather soon, I think. What was the goal for the prosperity? 16 prosperity, yeah, I cannot have that unless I go for uh, the Hippodrome. That's fine. Uh, October, let's check the quota. 42 cloud of 75, 15 fish, 29 timber, yeah. I think we are making enough, like, they are not physically able to buy more than I'm getting, I don't think. In most cases, at least. Maybe this one is not gonna have enough. Just about. Another one is coming. Yeah, we might need like another clay pit or a timber yard. But this is pretty much peak efficiency, I think. Pretty sure you can actually, I managed. Uh, sell more? Or full the, fill the full quota? I don't think you can, but it's December. Get the prosperity. Oh, maybe it's still rising, you know. It's 25, right. Yeah, it's just rising. It's the, It takes years. So that's why. At least this is giving me an incentive to make uh, Caravanserai eventually, which is good. Otherwise, I would never consider it if I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's just, you know. Um, or oh, when you don't see it, immediately trigger. Message from Pons Drusi. I'm a governor. Astonishing work in Warren so far. I have a freaking fishing hub line. Okay, leave me alone. Um, 
Very bad. You, you, do have, you do have the odds against you with these infamous restrictions he's ever put upon you. Plebeians here in Ponce de Rosé are in need of your wares. Clay is scarce up here in the mountains, and these plebs destroy their furniture faster than the usual local trees that grow. Do open up the trader out of it as soon as, as soon as you can. Increase trading of fish to Medellana. Let's take a look at Ponce de Rosé. <laughs> it's a sea trader. Okay, right. And this thing is gonna buy furniture and pottery. And it sells gold and iron and f f meat. Okay, we know what we need to do next. Dock. Fairhurst. So I guess. Plus, they want pottery, they want furniture. Um. Scrap that. Better materials, timber. Uh, I kind of counted on having that. That's fine. So how does this work? Yeah, that adds up pretty well. Start with one. I need to go around anyway. I don't want that staircase in my block. I don't want that staircase in my life. It's not good. Okay. Accept. Pottery and furniture. I remember to open up the forest, right? Yes, I see it like there is a path, but no, there is no path. I need to. Cut the trees. Usually you don't have to tell me twice to cut the freaking trees. This time it's too fast. Okay. So. Let's get this going. And no, no land traders, this would be bad. Gonna make that clearer. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit sparse for me to notice, but it's just, you know, it's just, it's just me. Okay, we are building that. Good. More. Uh, we might need extra housing soon, but that's fine. As long as this works. Uh, this sucks. Let's roadblock that. Because they were kind of looping around on that staircase. It's getting bell. We might need a new mausoleum. Well, looks pretty good. Um, let's build this thing here. I'll build a second one here, most likely. I'm gonna go with a third block coming from here eventually, but we want a warehouse for clay. Or clay. For pottery, rather. No trade. And get 8 units of pottery. I could also produce it locally, but you're a bit lazy. Can make it here. This could be a wharf. Make, I'd like to make the most of that. You cannot get water up here anyway. So you should be using this for our industry. I would produce pottery, that's fine. Uh, keep room for future expansion. Not for roadblock. Mm, we can do this and then keep this open. Mm, 
this could be a prefect. Open up sea trade to this. It costs a lot of money, but we do have it. Export and export. <clears throat> I didn't think about clay pits up here. Yeah, it's possible. You have the water kind of close by the cliff, so it still can fit it. Not double up, but still pretty good. But Caesar, I do not want to make meat. Be reasonable. Why would I want to make meat? I have to fish. I can summon bullshit out of thin air. Why would I ever want to produce things with my hard labor? So please don't ask for things I don't want to make. Um, we'll see. This is fine. Just have it. It's fine. Okay. Fish. Fish is fine. I'll go for some highways, maybe. They are awful, but I'm not gonna be building blocks here, most likely. We could. Maybe here, but not here. It's gonna be expensive. Can I do it somehow so that I don't have to deal with having that curse thing? And bring it here. Bring them here. It's fine. Christian of Clay. The heavy should help a little bit. Kill this patch is ready, send it. Where are they leaving? I need to observe that. Left or right? Here. Money is rolling in. It's just sea trade. Now we are using popsicle sticks. We'll use clay as well. Let's make sure we have enough resources for this. I know this looks cursed, but it's not. This is just how it looks like with the roads, but it actually is a straight line. It's with the road blocks. It's causing issues. <coughs> okay. There is some pottery here already, good. We have money, let's build a new block. Of course it's gonna be a line block. Uh, let's bring it around like this. This is actually pretty cursed. I might use this as part of it. Or actually go like here. This would be fine, I think. I really don't want to make it into a loop. If you make it into a loop, it will cease to function, as intended. You can do this. Where's my pond? You have it! It's here. <laughs> yes, I tried to hide it from you. Um... Okay. Do I want this? I think I want this. Try to hide this from the good people of the Twitch chat. It worked! At least temporarily. It's a great success. Hmm. I don't like that. The prefect is going to cause issues. Okay, let's, yeah, this is not perfect with its coverage, but I think it's, it works. Just what matters. 
Let's put down a bath house here. Put down a road here. Don't. <laughs> Just don't. Just don't. And then put down. I need Venus temples. Hello, Kerry. Welcome. Venus. I'll have to. People. The gods will hate my guts. I know that. But. I kind of have to. Make a spam. And. Put this temple. Somewhere over here. This is enough for a. Uh, chariot here. So that's alright. And I want to replace Neptune here. I think. What did I do? Mars? Yeah, Mars. This is gonna cost me a lot in Lubbock uh, to upkeep these temples, but I really want Venus Temple because it's gonna be crucial for my desirability and um, things, the other things, you know, uh, entertainment, since you have so little on this map. Uh, don't delete the roads. Switch to CDs. Mars, yeah, alright. Let's put this here. I will put this off. How's the map going? It's going okay. Just for information, the map is beatable without the Venus Entertainment. Yeah, I, I can believe that, but it's so convenient when I when I don't have anything. I just want it. I want it. People hate this city? No, they are coming, it's just taking a while. Bye. Do some extra houses. Hmm, this is gonna suck. For mergers. Let's do it. <laughs> Stream chatbot is just spasming. <laughs> Who's cheating? <laughs> it's not a cheat, it's an epithet. If, if the map maker allows me to have a Grand Temple, I'm gonna use it. He could have disabled Grand Temples if he didn't want me to. Just said it's, um, you know, not necessary, but I will still do it because it's good. Uh, yeah, I'll have to sacrifice one of the houses. That's fine. Kinda need this in our lives. Let's put on a plaza and a fountain. <laughs> almost, it almost works. All of it just works. I just wish it had. Um, yeah, so we'll do. Build a massive altar to cringe to Huken. And a couple of blood area. Did I make mess up with this? I did. This is not gonna fit all the things I would need. Explosion. Oh yeah. Again, this prefect is not doing his job as expected. He actually told me as well, I just neglected it. Anyways, um let's put him here. <laughs> this is gonna stretch it out even more, that's not good. You don't really want to stretch it. Hmm, I'm thinking. 
Where do we put that? I can have it here, it's just not a very good place, but... Okay. Extinguish that. I still will need to figure out how to build... Yeah, if we don't have this house, then it works. Then we can have it like here and then still keep a space for something like a school. Here. Yeah. Sounds about right. Okay. Collapse built. I have an engineer as well. It's just they refuse to go down here for some reason. Okay. Fine. Fine. I'll have it. I'll have that extra road. Barber. This is awful, by the way. So then, ah, it doesn't help me to remove it. Let's just have it. It's fine. What else you want? Marble. Yeah, sure. Uh, we are building this third stage. It's getting built quite quickly. We make a lot of money. Still could use more industry, I suppose. Do some more timber. Furniture other. And then this is slightly too closed off. This is kinda cursed, but like it's three small line blocks, but I think it works. We'll see how far we can evolve them. Yeah, all the monuments would be would need to be disabled, I think. Looks cool. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. It is kinda cursed, but not really. I'll save up on a uh, chariot here in this block, this way, which is good. Just need two charioteers, so I would need two for a single block instead if I did a loop. So I think this is better. Um, 10,000 denarii, fine. Let's keep building this thing. It's gonna happen, it requires a lot. I might make more things. Hello, Florian Dancer. Look. Yes, have it. I might need a new mausoleum just so that people don't die from disease. Because people are not having very high evolution stages, which is a problem. Um, sure. So it's gonna be four, alright? Yeah. I need a fourth one. Let's put it here. It's expensive, but we have the money. I think the highways really helped. Every single little bit of speed really helps the trade a lot. Fish is getting depleted, but I think this is enough. It's reliable, sustainable as it is. If we evolve them, it might get a little worse. You'll see. I do want to buy some more timber. Actually, I have way too much stuff in general. No issues with that. 
keep building the thing. I just there's very little else I can do right now. Send him the things. <clears throat> And produce a little more furniture. <laughs> I fucked up <laughs> again. When will I learn? You cannot have nice things. Fine. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't want it to be like this. But it is. Your house is getting moved and we'll erect th this instead. It's not what I want. But that's what we'll get. This is gonna gobble up a lot of worker, by the way. Okay. Uh, I don't block this off though. Maybe keep a little bit of space here. Uh, you put them in the better now. Great achievement. Okay. Uh, the money seems to be plentiful. And since you have local marble, it's not really a big deal. Uh, Hippodrome in Verona. My dearest, dearest governor, I have received news that the construction of the great Hippodrome of Verona is completed. I am impressed that those petty senators who doubted me will see their, how prosperous city can truly be with one single monumental circus. Achieve 60 prosperity and I will allow you to buy wine from Rome. Okay. You will be getting schools. So anyone wants education let's make it happen get a tax man i don't think we need a tax man but money is good for your city yeah let's build ordinary large statue what was that? What was that? Emperor Quest Goods, okay. Was it? No. Teresius begin, alright. We can get insulate. Which is good, just desirability. It's gonna be something we need to keep an eye out for. Some of these people live nearby, some pretty hideous things, so. We'll have to make sure they are happy. We have plentiful money for it, so the only real thing is just, you know, spend the money, make them happy. This could be Lararia, actually. These houses pay so little tax, it hardly seems worth my time. No, we just built you, and now it's gonna be fine. We actually need this money. I think we'll be harvesting quite a bit after everyone's accounted for. Pottery, pottery, pottery is a problem. Let's do a car depot. Put down something. Keep these people happy. You will ferry pottery from warehouse 6 to warehouse 7. Yeah. Okay. 3,000 population, we evolved a bunch, so yeah, we can fit a lot of people into the city now. Oh, with Insulae, it uh, always sticks out, the city just uh, shoots up and the footprint looks much larger because of the verticality of the buildings. As previously, it looked much uh, less dense, but you can now see how much you can fit in here. It's not that bad for efficiency to do land blocks, just, you know. Especially if you need to, the things. I think you would struggle to fit as much population density for just two of these. If you need them for destination. 
It was actually, yeah, it's hard to see that those are line blocks anymore. But they are. All of them. Blossom from Mars. Okay, what's our prosperity cap now? I think we want to give 50. I can give them furniture easily. If they can evolve still, I think they can. Yes. Let's get a two depots. Furniture and lots designate this from six to seven. Is that correct? Yes. From six to seven, and let's build a Venus temple. It's gonna be really important. I could even go maybe Grande. I oh, know it's it's too greedy. Don't. We'll need to do patricians. It's just in my mind I could do that, but no. In fact, you cannot because you would need oil and lots of it. I still might want it. Who sells oil? None of these. Yeah. That's not very good. Okay. Food might become a problem. Can we make bridges yet? Not yet. I need to do some fishing here. Mm, this is actually cursed. I need to relocate that. Clear this. This is gonna be pretty amazing for food. Just need to make like a car depot to ferry it in where we need. from the last one to the first one. I don't have oil, Caesar. I cannot get oil. In any way. I don't think you have olives locally. No. no it's fine. I Maybe I'm supposed to have that already? Yeah. It's fine, we'll get it eventually. One request is not gonna kill the city. Kate is making a cake. Oh, chocolate pudding and strawberries. No. <laughs> Food crimes. Fine. Looks delicious. It does, but... I don't know if it's gonna work too well. We'll see. Okay, we need more. We need more timber. You know, food cramps can also be delicious. It doesn't mean that it's just uh, cursed as in taste. It's just cursed as in the concept. That's what food cramps are. All of the food cramps are actually pretty good. It just looks like something that is cursed, you know. Let's put this there. I think this is fine. I mean, <laughs> it looks pretty dangerous, but let's put down extra services and it's gonna be alright. I think. It's extra industry. I would like to give them oil, but it's gonna be for a little bit later. They also will want a library. 
most of them. We do have the space for it. These are not evolving. Not enough desirability. Always when I see large insulate, it's just like the inefficiency of it is killing me, but it's the only thing I can do here, so. You know, can't be too picky with what we have. Second food type could be affordable, actually. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's get pigs. We'll need a lot, but we have a lot of labor. So at this point, we, we can afford it, I think. Still not the greatest efficiency here, but... That's how it needs to be with all the rocks. And this should cover everything eventually, I'm pretty sure. And then we do two car depots, maybe even three of them. And this should be alright, we can lock this off as well. Meat from this is eight. From eight to two. Meat from eight to two and meat from eight to two. Let's see if we can feed this block a second food type easily. So it's our prosperity cap at uh, 57, yeah. If we manage to evolve everyone, we could reach 60 perhaps, but it's an hour. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, I suspect if the meat is a little bit tough, get everyone the second food type. Might eventually happen though. I need 40 prosperity. I will get it next year. On the end, change the empire. This is from Nisir. Um, so the governor, your city has. Oh yeah, today I'm gonna enjoy a rare occasion. I'm gonna have some coffee, which is I'm gonna have some royal cola. So let's have it. Well, I haven't had caffeine in a while. I kind of need it. This night sleep was not good. Hello, Burwaka. Okay. Stop, Governor. Your city has become quite the topic of patricians here in Nicaea. Once Caesar lets go of his entertainment fully and allows regular theaters to be built, maybe Verona will flourish even more. Who knows, maybe some great place will take place there one day. Anyways, we wish to buy your produce goods. Open up Trader Out with us as soon as possible, so Nissan traders can help Verona continue to grow. Low price on fish. Let's take a look. Nisia buys marble and it's a land trader out. It will also buy pottery and weapons and it sells oil and olives. Open it up. We will 
We will have to manage our stuff. Okay. I don't think they should come here, nor should they come here. That could be a big problem. Um, I don't want them to come here either. But um, I'll have to probably let them. We could possibly just make... Yeah. Maybe we make something here. Actually, I have the labor, right? Yeah. Some of it, at least. Let's get a bear house. Workshops oil. Prefecture. We'll accept olives. Sixteen, eight oil, accept. Actually, I'm gonna cut it away. Accept 16 marble. And get it with some depots. Marble. Yeah, we need to wait until this activates. Straight with us. <laughs> Seem to have missed everything today. Yeah. Uh, you can rewatch it. The contest. Uh, contest. Um, results were streamed, which was like 30 or 40 minutes. We just had a little bit of an exposition of it Fairby, and then uh, we started this. So we didn't miss everything yet. I'm also, I also want to show you another game today, which I think you will like. But it's, uh, <laughs> how, how would you call it? Um, I don't know how to call it. It's, um, Maybe it's gonna trigger some people. Let's put it that way. Warehouse Street, Warehouse Town. Same with this. And then we could also sell pottery, but I don't think it's necessary. We mainly want this to be done, which almost is done. That's good. I know you're angry. You'll get your stuff. Just yeah, import olives. Sell marble. Start getting some oil and uh, warehouse. I'm just gonna connect this, but no market ladies to this. No market ladies to that. And then this is gonna have a connection. And we'll just accept oil here, straight up. It's very far away, but I think it's fine. A little bit of inefficiency is okay, actually, for these. Can always do this as well. 16 clay, yes. Can have it. He wants that oil, he's gonna get the oil. Grand Temple is done. Let's pick the obvious benefit. I'm very grateful. We should be able to get oil to our people, right? Maybe the food fluctuations are uh, not that good for me. Might have to get more fish there. All this fish is ready for timber. I think I need a cut depot here for fish, and this is to get another four. To get another two. Mm, might want to funnel even more in there. I just. Yeah, I don't think we can really get many more things. I could shikila get another farm. Farm this as well. I can even farm this, but that would kind of kill my fine.
I need every single farm. Meat. 8 to 2. Meat. 8 to 2. Meat. 8 to 2. Double check the farm road, just delete it. I think that one pick farm is not disconnected, is it? Oh, it is. Correct, thanks. I deleted the wrong squiggle. <laughs> so much help today, thanks. I think I already missed something else, so I got another hint from someone. And Fairby helped me with something. Mm, two wharfs, but it's very close to a fishing point. It's worth it. It's, I need, I need everything I can get. If we stabilize the food, then we'll be fine. And we can just evolve people even more, which is what I need. It said that I can eventually make theaters, which is gonna be interesting. I will... I don't have bridges yet. It kinda sucks. Um, we'll unlock them later when we get 60 prosperity. Cap depot. Fish. From the last one to the second one. Yeah, it is. Low price and clay. It's fine. They have oil, they're just not getting it. Which I suspect it's because um, the markets just don't have time, right? <clears throat> oh no, it's it's been disabled automatically. I don't know why. I didn't disable it. Must have been automatically maybe it's an issue with when he, it becomes a new thing that wasn't previously on the map, it starts to disable them. Yeah, must be. Grand Vinsula, okay. Yeah. Venus is gonna help a lot. Um, this house, food type, right? It's gonna be fixed eventually. Grand Vinsula is insane, by the way, on this map, I think, <laughs> with what we have. Okay, let's take a look at Prosperity. 77. Right. Actually, you you won't, but maybe that would be interesting thing to add, actually. Um, what? Enable the other entertainment types eventually, right. Yeah, um, no, uh, Kerry, what I had as a thing was um, I started this map without ability to trade olives or oil. I don't have local olives or oil and the olive trade becomes available only once you fulfill certain objectives on the map and then you get a new trade route which is this, oh sorry, um, this, Nikia. And that um, sells you olives, but it disables the oil from all markets, even though I didn't do that physically. But it's not a huge deal, you know? It's just an easter egg of sorts, just a place where some Shakespearean play took place. Romeo and Julia, for example, right. Right, 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 right. Get it now. I think if you save and load, it should add them. Okay, I did do that, but it was just on market, it was disabled as an option. Special orders here. <clears throat> so that is want to be unlocked, okay. That's fine. Let's get a legionary statue and a couple of Lararii. I need to fill every single tile that's not crucial for other things with this. Thank you. 
We will build patricians, we need them anyway, so might as well. How is the labor looking though? Yeah, we are full. The city is full, I would need another small line block, possibly. I don't really want to make it, but uh, if we need to, I can. First person, better now, let it fly flow. This is a festival cinematic. I actually don't run festivals at all in my cities. This is a very long time since I saw this. See many balconies, which fucking know. Yeah. No, oh, cool picture as well. My dearest governor, I have just paid the majority of the expenses for, of opening trade between Rome and you. Uh, near Prosperous Verona, let the wine flow in your tavern since celebration of this great achievement. I have also sent the engineers to Verona that I promised, who will make it possible for you to bridge the river whenever you see fit. Okay, now, uh, I don't need a tavern. Everything here has as much entertainment as I want. I would not want them to have wine, but uh, I will need patricians, so that's alright. We don't have that much labor free, so we'll have to make another line block and then add small patricians somewhere, which is gonna seal the deal, I think. Do we have plaza everywhere? We do, just the, entertain the desirability of this place is not as high as I would like. But I don't think I can achieve it easily. I could possibly move this school. And try to fit a statue instead. I want you to evolve this. Oh, it's a second food type issue anyway. Yeah, Ceres Grand Temple would be really good, but I cannot give them temple to Ceres. Uh, this the line blocks are already horrible. <laughs> Spelling for blood is right. Oh, it happens. Uh, all right. If we connect this, we could just add like several markets, and it would work. I don't want to make a new source really, but mainly we just need. Um, it's gonna, it might cause instability, that's what it could do, which is not what we want. But we could enable just fish to them, that would be fine. I need labor for my uh, patricians, that's what it's about. So I'll do that. I'll need to give them water. Let's do it here. <clears throat> this setup will look so cool in the end, will it? <laughs> we'll see about that. It's a little bit cursed, but it's nothing, like, it still has efficiency, it's not... I think with the, um, with the destination walkers being in a city, I just... I don't think regular blocks would be better. I think in this case, lines are superior. Just not often that that's the case. Okay, I think this is enough labor. I don't have that. Let's have it here. Maybe we do another house actually. I'll need a lot. Okay. Let them come into the city. Give them a temple to Venus. Which means I'll have to give extra temples to other gods. No, 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 Mercury. Mars, Neptune, Ceres.
Let's do a battle house. Hmm. Put it here. Library and a school. And a church maker. No, 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 no. It's enclosed. Do not, do not enclose it. It's fine, you just need to pause the video game and it's okay. But if you don't, it can still instantly destroy everything. You saw that? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. It's easier if you just observe and <laughs> play. Sometimes you do see a lot. Um, so I, I didn't realize that until it happened. Okay, let's do three markets. Uh, disable them from getting meat. Is this... Them a form as well. It's gonna be enough labor to do patricians, I think. Yeah, it should be at least. So let's do prosperity cap currently 72. Let's do some small patricians on this side. We'll do a bridge. I think you cannot ship bridge over that. I could even make a line block for patricians like here somewhere. I need their own source of food though. Maybe you want them here. There is fish, there is pigs, yeah. This is gonna be awful, I need to connect. Yeah, the, the problem with this is you will need to connect your everything, basically, for them to have the entertainment. That's the bad thing about it. So yeah, I uh, also need to buy wine. Should we do from Rome? They buy marble, shut down of it, and they sell you wine. Let's do that. Uh, let's put down a new warehouse. If they stop coming for a second. I'll accept eight wine and just get some extra marble for selling. Okay. I, I really don't want to connect my city, but I'll have to. No market ladies here. Mm, there is some, yeah, we could even, we can do this side. So I just need a low bridge. And then ships. Can we ship this bridge over this? No. Of course not. There's a rock there. It would have to be low bridges, which is not gonna happen. Ships bridge straight over the river. Mm, can be here, but. That's where my reservoir is, and I cannot move it. Make it here, this is just for fish. Let's 
mining as well. Not that we need that. The market ladies, I'm very worried about them. I could source everything from here actually with like shit tons of markets. That could work. So how large of a patrician block will we build? I think 3x3 three three patricians is a safe bet. I'm gonna give them their own source. It's just, it will... I'm very worried the plebeian market ladies will come here, you know. And that is probably gonna happen. Since I have to use destination walkers for this. I just cannot... Let them not come here. If I build a new source, it's gonna be a big problem. Let's try to build a shit ton of markets to get it from here. It's not safe, but... It will do. Let's build some pig farms and funnel it into that granary then. It's really, really not what I want to do with connecting the city with like multiple granaries. It would cause uh, humongous issues. It could cause this whole thing to collapse. Could you uh, create a shortcut by the prefecture to the granary? Possibly. I think you may be right. No. No, we cannot. It's here, but my school is important. I cannot move it. I don't think I can move that. <laughs> yes, I could stop taxing them. But it's not good, like it's insulate living off, you know, for free, basically, which is horrible. But it might be good for the patricians to have this bridge. It's probably better. So yeah, let's do that. Is that not? No, no, it's not a granary. My soft brain is not capable of handling this correctly. This is awful, to say the least. But I think it's necessary, like, the staircase is gonna cause issues. Um. My market ladies accept meat and then do some car depots. It's two, three. Meat. Meat. And meat. Let's wait until it activates. Is it? Oh, it's enclosed. Alright. <laughs> Look at this fishing village, uh, comes with some bonus, clearly. Clearly. But people should not live free, like, it's 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 bad. <laughs> you, you really don't want to let people, like, you know, they get food, they get oil, they get furniture, they get pottery for free, everything for free. They do work, but they don't pay any taxes. So, it's definitely not good for the city. Okay. Bring it from 13 to 2. Three markets for these people, and it's not enough, I don't think. I'll add a new market. Don't trade meat. You have enough of other goods, but meat is kind of scarce still. The taters are coming this way now, some of them at least, but it's not very good, it's fine. Let's import some wine. Mm, max is fine, I'm gonna limit it with warehouses instead. Okay, have the marble.
do like some oil here. I could get a warehouse for oil here, but again, it could cause market ladies to freak out elsewhere. Mm, let's accept some oil in here. Let's hope I didn't jinx it now, but I'm happily surprised by how stable the events have been. Some requests and events based, uh, are event based, right. Yeah, mm, it seems natural unless uh, we are talking about the first oil request that was a bit early. Because I just didn't have the option to have unlocked oil at that point yet. Couldn't even import it if I wanted to, but it's fine. Nothing major. Again, sing single request does not really kill the city or anything. Unless you uh, have specific events where you missed a single request and you are punished dearly. Okay. So I could possibly feed them meat. There is meat, there are surplus. Um, let's try to get everyone to get on insulin. Oh, Claude, welcome. How are you doing? You have a message from Discord. If you haven't responded to the DM yet. Yeah, yeah, but we are the only people using them so far. But it's gonna get better eventually. Uh, more people will take interest, I'm sure. It just takes time, you know. You know how it is. This is not good. Uh, what about this engineer? Will he cover it? Yes, he did. Good. Insulate, apart from this guy, which they just want goods. Really. Oh, these three, that's fine, they'll get that soon enough. Okay, it will be time to start doing that patrician block we talked about. Let's make it happen now. How large of a patricians do, do we really make? I think three by three patricians, we could go four by fours. But, uh, you know, issue with that is just space, because they are tactical rocks, so that's gonna suck. But if you give them Venus, or uh, desirability at least, it's not gonna be a big issue. And we need only couple. So, you know, even even couple of palaces would actually be fine. Something like this, and then the rest for services. This is awful though. Let's put it like here, we don't need that many services for them. I don't block this off. At least we have plenty of space for these one by ones. It's gonna be a chariot maker. Give him Venus temple. We need all the temples actually. We don't need all of them, but it's good to have them nonetheless. The and we can have it. Uh, let's get a tavern, let's get a couple of markets. And I really need to not allow vine for this. Uh, where are the other markets? This is gonna be a mess. Paste it, paste it. And I think that's it. Every block has like one market, right? This is for that one, this is for this one, this is for this one, and then we need to also disable it from here. 
Don't get wine. Do not get wine. And we get them vine here. Just gonna have their own personal warehouse. Then this thing can I just accept more of it. Actually, we'll import straight here. We can disable them from doing it here. Let's get full warehouse of marble. <clears throat> it is possible to create much fairer requests with them. Not only that, but there's just so many possibilities. Uh, as I said, it's for me, it's like very similar to what Age of Empires 2 allows with the uh, custom events, and this is like revolutionizing what is possible with the custom maps. It's impossible to cover it properly, even. Like, there's so many things possible now that just were not before. It's just like, it's such a huge change that I would I don't know what to compare it to. I think it's such a huge change, almost as much as going from Julius to the first version of Augustus. That's how big of a change that is for custom map content, that is. Of course, people who play campaign will not notice, mostly, but still. Get a fountain. Cup everyone. Mistake. Let's make it happen. Hospital. Make it happen. I can probably squeeze it here if I move the bathhouse. You'll need an academy as well, which we can make here. <clears throat> we could always inject some basic custom events into the campaign to make people aware of it. Yeah, that would be good, I think. Just to show people, I think the campaign in general will need an overhaul. You know, it will need a complete rework at some point when we have all the new resources. Just make it from scratch. Okay, Cloud, I'm gonna gift you the game on Steam after the stream, okay? Thanks for letting me know what you want. Uh, the others haven't chosen yet. I have a nice idea for my next map in mind. There are so many things you can do now. Um, yeah. You can says, I'm here, I saw it. What? <laughs> many people in general don't even know about the original limitations for this map maker, so I don't know if showing the events there will lead to anything. Well, they know how the campaign was structured, and if they see something new, everything new is kind of cool, because, you know, they are aware of just how limiting the base game was. You never saw anything that interesting in it. Yeah, so much planned content. That's a lot of future development still to be done. Third type of food. Uh, I think they will want a second wine type as well, but we can give them... We can only import um, vegetables, right? Yeah, Medellanum sells it, which is a bit of a problem, but uh, sure, I would allow it, I would allow it, but it needs to be somewhere close. 
I guess here. But then it's gonna also it's, it's not good for the city to have it like this. It's fine. We don't need Medellin to be that efficient anymore. Like it's I'm not relying on it on anything. I just need to make sure they don't get vegetables. No vine and no vegetables. Paste, paste. Paste, 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 paste. I love for the road being longer. We could, but I don't want to stretch it. I think this is gonna work. Because the trade of it, uh, Mediolanum, I mean, it's it buys clay. I have 80,000 denarii. I don't think I'll need it. And we are victorious before it evolved. Really. I, okay, fine. Accept the promotion. Could have been at 100 prosperity even. Okay, so... We did win. Uh, it is a good map. Um, it is, as, as I said, I don't think it's like completely novel. I've seen a map with a concept for only Hippodrome for entertainment, mostly. With Julius even, like uh, way back, you know. But that's mm, what I told you. Like, um, every single thing you can come up with, even with the new event system, has been thought about or done before. But with the event system you have just more options. But mostly just... You know, coming up with something original is so hard at this point because people have already pretty much done everything. But this definitely is one of the things which only has like a couple of clones. So this one is definitely very original. It's very different. I think money is slightly too easy for my liking. I, I'm fine with the line blocks, but I can see how some people could become frustrated with uh, destination walkers uh, if they try loops which i you know i've I've i have avoided most horrible things by just not doing it because i realized what's gonna happen and just not do it but if you went with loops you would have to build so many freaking chariot makers it would be horrible um plus some of the other stuff i did uh i think health could be a big issue for you early on if you make too much population and you don't go for mausoleums because um you have very low evolution stages. You could feed them two types of food to offset it, but still, some people could die to plagues, possibly. Um, otherwise, I think it's a good map as it is. A lot of uh, unlocks, it shows the event system very well, so I'm pretty sure some people on YouTube will enjoy it. The map overall took two hours and 12 minutes, and we spent a bunch of that time cuddling the cat at the start, so fairly quick, considering what the challenges were. But I like it. I also like the trees. I use that on my maps as well while using these trees to sit on the roads because they look so cool with like the alleyway trees. Um. <laughs> Foreign dancer, I'll say whatever. Uh, what actually saddening, yeah. Well, uh, you know, it's just my takes. You can play the map yourselves and find out if you liked it and. Uh, I made a kind of easy on purpose because of the chariots, right? Yeah, like like you said, I can, you don't want too many challenges at the same time. There are already pitfalls for the people. It's just, as I'm saying, for me personally, it could have been more challenging because I'm avoiding pitfalls. But if someone goes in and stumbles into everything, then they might feel challenged already. And it could be horrible for them to have to deal with another thing. So I don't hate it. I'm just telling you, like, for me personally, I would enjoy to be pushed more with the economy, maybe, but I can understand why it's not a thing. Uh, I think the marble makes it uh, makes it uh, very easy for the monuments, really. Uh, that's what mostly does it. I would go and, you know, nerf the prices on the finished goods a little more. That's what I would do. Uh, because the sea trade is insanely lucrative and the marble trade later is also, like, very, very high, while you can still tax people. Yeah, I like it. It's just, you know, as I said, the concept is you need to prepare for it. If you don't prepare for it, you would have such a bad time with it. You couldn't beat it this fast if you if you just stumble into it. This came to the experience, really. But, um, very, very nice map. I think it's a good contribution to the community. 
overall. Uh, I'm sure it's, people will try it out and see what it does um, for themselves. Uh, that's gonna be it for Caesar for today. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll be playing some more Caesar throughout the week. We have a map from Huken coming up and I'll be showing you another game today, something you haven't seen before. I'm not good at it. Again, I just, you know, tried it a little bit to see how it plays and then didn't play it much more. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I'm, I'm gonna show you. And we are gonna do that at, let's say 17 o'clock. So it's in one hour and 40 minutes, right about. Yeah, no problem, Cloud. See you around, bye. Mega Man 3, surely? No, never ever. <laughs> Let's do a raid as well, if there is someone. I also need to shave myself, because I I, have, I haven't shaved myself in the morning. As I said, I haven't slept well, so I didn't feel like doing that. But I should. I should not look like a barbarian. Um, Let's raid Baron. He's playing The Long Dark for Jake's, on Jake's behest. There. 